And the next thing we should do is we should just make sure our PaaS server settings are up to date now that we've updated our path to our PaaS instance. And also we wanna make sure that our settings are, are set up correctly for the security perspective. So if you remember, we have a couple of settings for security. One of them is this allow client class creation. Okay, so what we want to do is we wanna set this now to false in our production environment to make sure that end users can't then create classes and change classes in our past database. So what we do is we go into our parse settings, we reveal config variables, and if we've created it previously, we then just set it to false and hit save changes. The next thing we need to do is we need to set up or we need to change the server URL. So if you remember, previously we had the server URL set up to our Heroku URL. We now want to set it up to, well, the one I've set up is page Appify. So now we've set up some Heroku settings, we've changed the path server URL, we've changed the allow client class creation. We also wanna make sure we go through and for each of our classes, and we have, we're using the parse dashboard, we wanna make sure we go into the security tab and we make sure we wanna add edit the class level permissions to the settings that we that we feel comfortable with for that class. And the final thing is just to have a, just another look through your source code, just double check and make sure that the sensitive parts at least have ACL set up. And then the final thing is just to make sure you're always using HTTPS in all of your connections and in all of your code.